，这个是从八月七号，哦，他们这个设备从内地运过来以后开始发电，哎，包括一些施工，它电用电要扩容，设备的安装调试。你看，我们还有消防系统等等，呃，空气的这个呃这个洁净系统等等，所以呢，这个到大概是用了十几天。Capacity here will be increased to 500,000 a day. This is the sample receiving bay. Oh. Now this one is a bio safety cabinet. Then we operate all the sample. Uh, well, we op we um, handle all the incoming samples in the food. That's mm. what we call a PSL cabinet. It is an MJ960. It's mm. an automated machine for RNA extraction. Mm. Automated platform. Mm. Well, for RNA extraction, it enormously reduces the labor labor time. So actually, one machine can reduce. Well, actually, one machine can reduce the labor time by almost 50 times. This is the third area where, where we perform all the RT PCR tests here. Mm -hmm. So all the samples we determine either positive or negative in yeah. this area. Mm. This machine are all RT PCR machines. As you can see, this is a pass box which will be used to transfer the specimen from uh, this air lab to another one. This is emergency exit. If there's anything emergent happens, you can come out through this door. Finally, the Chinese mainland collecting DNA of Hong Kong people and stealing privacy? No way. The laboratories don't even know who they're testing because they only test a tube with a barcode. If the result is negative, then they will destroy the samples. If positive, they will inform the government, like Barco 1234 is positive. So only the health department of Hong Kong knows who is Barco 1234. Do that CGTN Hong Kong.